Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Wood Mill Incorporated. Ah, hi, buddy. Hi. I think you're the one that did the drawings, right? <laughs> so, um, hold on. Let me see. We're friends, right? No, you're premium. Okay. So, Trollface7567, huge shout out to you, buddy. He, he like freaked out. He's like, oh my god, it's Code Prime. So, a huge fan right there. Thank you so much. Uh, Akosa, you've joined me tonight. And Ryan, you're in the server as well. So huge shout out to those guys. The, the, they're the main devs. They're the ones doing the, the builds and the, the modeling and all this stuff. And tonight, I am going to go off on a rant. Not really a rant. It's just going to be basically everybody who said uh, this is a complete ripoff, blah, 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 in my comments. You are so going to eat your words, okay? I'm, I'm not being mean. You are so going to eat your words, all right? This game is completely made from scratch. There is nothing taken or stolen from Lumber Tycoon 2. That It is all original, all right? And I, I'm just the... Oh, the sheer audacity that you guys are going to feel. Not audacity. The, the sheer... Um, oh my gosh, I was wrong feeling. All right, the uh, the update is coming, and I have seen behind the curtains. I have in envisioned the things that are going to happen for uh, Woodmill Incorporated, and it, it is crazy. All right, it, it is it is beyond crazy. Like it's so much, so much more, and you guys, you have no clue. You don't even know. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. And you're going to love it. And yes, it will be free. It will be 100% free. You can get uh, your private servers if you want. They'll, they'll be priced reasonable to uh, the comparable of what you're used to. Nothing crazy. It's, it's just going to be an all-around awesome game. And, oh, wait a second. Hold, hold up. I can fill with logs? Hold up. What? Wait a second, how did... How did that work? Um... Was I supposed to be able to fill that? I, I don't know. I don't know that I was supposed to be able to do that. Oh, okay. That's kind of crazy too, because you can, you can place it with stuff being in the way. So hold on, is it is this supposed to happen? Devs, help, help me out here. Is that did I do a bad? Did do I do I do a bad thing here? <coughs> hold on, is that the largest wall that we've we've got? Can I use a large floor and just turn it on its side? So, whoa, hello, hello, rotate, turn, rotate. Hold on, hold on. Let's go like this. Look out, buddy. I'm just going to do a little bit of building tonight. I wish I could show you what it's going to look like, but I can't. Turn, rotate, turn. Wait a second. That. Okay. There it went. It just took it a second. Okay. It just had to physically move for a second. All right, let's go ahead and destroy that. Destroy that one. Um, can other people fill that in? Here, can can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill that in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take and can you fill that here? Because if we can just use whole trees and not like plank anything. Now hold on. That's twenty-two percent. Hold on. Let's let's do something here. I want to try. Something. Let's try this little bitty stick. That is 20%. But if I put it through here, it's still 20%. Okay. So how many does this take? Doesn't say. Still only 20%. Okay. So let's do this. You can just fill it with trees instead of having to like plank out wood or anything else. And in fact, the the bark that's on the trees looks just like the uh, 
the plate, the, the, the base plate. So by doing this, I'm gonna confuse people. They're gonna be like, how'd you get your base plate off the ground like that? They're like, it's magic. I did it. It's magical. Welcome to the magical world of Code Primate. Could you do like a combination of trees and get different colors? Possibly. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if we can do that, but you know. With all things, development are possible. Hold on, let's go this direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. That did not touch at all. Hold on. Just please get in there. That's only 33%. Oh, because it's only the one log touching it. Okay. 19%. Hold on, did that not touch? There we go, 55, 87. So you have to have, wait. It destroyed the whole thing though. Okay, so only the part of the tree that's touching counts. So like, see this 27? Only this one piece is counting towards that 27. So if I were to take this out, chop this off right here, this still is only 27. No, it's 31. Okay, what happened there? 23. Okay, I'm trying to figure this system out. So, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's 23, I'm gonna add this little piece right here. It goes up to 31. Take that back out. I'm gonna chop this off. This should make it 31. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So it's each individual piece. It's not just the whole tree. But if you put the whole tree in there and only a piece completes the, the blueprint, the whole thing disappears. So. Ooh. Does that? I wonder. This is just me thinking out loud again. Can you only put so many pieces inside the blueprint there? 38. 38. Okay. Maybe it's stuck. Maybe I broke it. Okay. Let's put the big pieces in. There you go. Big piece. It's not planking. There is something that I wanted to try though. I, I do want to go try, try something that you can do inside lumber that I don't know that you can do inside here. But I'm going to need a big tree. There's a, there's a massive tree right there. <laughs> Sup Ryan, Sup Koza? Dude, cheats. I see that. You got them cheats. <laughs> How are we supposed to stop the exploiters when the, the devs or themselves are <laughs> throwing V V8 engines into their lumber trucks. Seriously. No, I want to chop the bottom one, please. Where are you going, tree? What is that thing doing? There we go. There we go. Come on, choppy chop. Why is it moving? <laughs> okay, let's chuck this tree. Boom. Boomba. Now, can I pick up the whole tree and put it into the back of the car? I wonder. I wonder. Okay, let's go flip. Now, there was this little trick that you could do inside lumber where you would take, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like a big piece of broccoli right now. Where you could take a tree, throw the whole thing into the sawmill, get a little piece off of it, and it would cause the rest of the uh, tree to be able to be planked by one piece. So that's, that's what I'm going to try and do without chopping. So no chop equals mod wood. 
and that's what we're gonna go for. Okay, this I can get out of the way. Just kind of deforest the area a little bit. There we go. Okay. I am really excited about the uh, the next update and the uh, the release of Alpha. So. I know a lot of you are like, "Code, you promised us." I'm like, "No, no, no, no. I didn't promise. Nobody's promised anything." All right, we have given uh, target dates and possible days that we are going to release. But I mean, like with anything, with any project, there's a target date and there's there's definitely going to be delays. And we don't want to release a bad, unfinished product. Okay, I'm going to have to do some choppy chop here because this is just not working the same. I'll have to do it with a smaller piece, but even if the smaller piece works, awesome. There we go, okay. So let's pick up this whole thing right here. That's a, that's a big piece. Come on, come on, this way. No, 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 that, that, that way. Come on. Okay, or you can go that way, that's cool. Okay, turn, turn, turn. I'm gonna rock it up on its edge like that. And then if we just turn our body. Oh, I need to go this way a little bit. There it goes. Get in there. Go on, buddy. Go on, go on, please. There we go. Good. Okay. So, these two pieces should be the same part of a model, which will cause them to glitch out ever so slightly. I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, look at him pick up his car. Koza, you're so strong, dude. So strong. All right, here we go. Thank you. Grab this one. This should be a part of that tree. I'm hoping. So let's go launch this in. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to work or not. This is something I've not tested out yet. Okay, we'll see. See what happens. Dude, thank you so much for bringing me all that. That's awesome. Okay. Is this going to fit? Yeah, that'll fit. Let's see what happens. Is it too much? Oh no. I think I've I've got too much in there. Please, 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 just work, just work. It's not gonna work, is it? Because it's it's reading off the whole model. <gasps> no. How much is this? How much percentage? Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Okay. Hold on. We can find out how much wood is in the exact amount of a tree. So. Large floor, large floor. Ouch. Okay, here we go. Large floor is this one right here. Does it say how much a large floor takes? <clears throat> it does not have exact measurements on there, does it? Oh goodness, okay, so let's do this. Let's set this down to one by ones. One, oops, and one. So what we're going to do with mathematics is we're going to take this little piece right here, stick it on through, just like that. Okay, we're going to take our 
best estimate of a one unit. See, and by the way, that doesn't look like one unit. That looks like 1.5 units. I'm gonna have to do some measuring. Anyhow, there's one unit that's at 3%. Okay, so bust out my handy Danny Blues Clues calculator. If one unit is equal to 3%, that means two units should be worth 6%. So, so it should take about 33 units, 33.3 .3 units. If we do another unit size, 6%. 8%. Maybe they're a little bit larger. I'm trying to figure out the mathematics in the background without having to take a look at the code, which I don't want to do. I don't want to go into the scripts because, oh gosh, no, I didn't mean to use that. Please. There we go. 8, 11, 12. So there's an extra 0.5.5% somewhere, but for the most part, let's see, it would take 33 units to fill this up. So this is based on a 33 unit. So we can take this, put it in, maybe, hold on, try this one. Why is that not working? Whoa, there we go, 20%. Thirty-two percent. Now, I was going somewhere with this uh, this idea of what we could do with the wood, but now I'm not too sure. Come on, come on. Thirty-eight percent. Oh gosh. And I don't know what happened at the end there. It's so weird that it's not letting us do the whole thing. Ugh, good bugs. Good bugs to find. Oh, by the way, you need to join the uh, Discord. It's in the description of the game, not inside my, the description of my video. Go down to the video and in, or go down to the link that's inside my game. Or, wow. Go down to the link that's inside the video to get to the game. Inside the game, the Discord link will be down in the bottom. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh no, that died. Can we just not throw this all in here? Let's just do this. Let's throw it all in. There we go. That's not working. Hmm. Well, poop. That's okay. If I were to leave and come back, would that make everything else disappear? I don't know. I really wanted this to work because that's that would be awesome. But it's not going to. So, let's take the end off of this. And that should make it into its own unit. Did not. What? Maybe it's over 30 units long? 30, 30 units volume? That was the end I was supposed to chop. There it goes. Okay. So it was reading off that it was still part of model, but it wasn't reading off that it was like detached from the model and that singular piece could be planked. So max volume, no, no mod saws. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do now? Now that you've got all the mod saws broken. Hmm. Can this piece go over the top? Maybe. Ooh, that is, a, that is a big piece. That is a big boy. Big boy. All right. Move. No, come on. Put 
Push, 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 push. Now, Cam doesn't like the idea that it pushes like that, but what I like doing is I, I'll put it back some, and then when I drop it down, not like that, when I drop it down, like that, I just kind of move and mosey it down. So if it does push me out, then it's fine. But yeah, that's definitely not, that's too long, or too, too, too much. Cozy, are you trying to talk to me? Code, would you like to unbox your poster? Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. Chat bubble, whitelist me. Chat bubble, whitelist you. Oh, gotcha. Okay, whitelist. Done. Everything. Okay, you're whitelisted. Please tell me I can unbox my my poster. Where did he go? Is he stealing all my stuff? So is that what this was all about? You just fooled me so you could take all my things? Whoa, there we go. That's been stuck for a second. Double L, there we go. There it is, yay! Look at the poster, look at the poster! Ah! Oh, by the way, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a requirement for you to get a poster inside here. If you want a poster, a lot of people have been asking and sending me DMs and stuff like that. I think what we're going to do is you have to have a minimum of 5,000 subscribers. That is an obtainable goal. It still gives you some encouragement to like going and creating and making the content and doing all that good stuff, but it also prevents us from having to go and create thousands of posters for people that have like maybe 10, 15 subscribers. Now, that's not to say having 10 or 15 subscribers is not a big accomplishment, okay? And I, I want to, hold on, let me get on my soapbox here. I want to tell you that getting five subscribers is a big deal. Getting 10 subscribers is a big deal, okay? Don't you ever think that the numbers mean anything less than you making content. Because if you're going to be a YouTuber, if you're going to go into uh, Lumber, if you're going to go into Roblox, if you're going to do Minecraft, if you're going to do anything and put yourself out there, congratulations. Like you've done more than 90% of anybody who's watching the videos right now, more than like most of the internet. It's a big deal. Okay. And a lot of people will try. Don't get me wrong. There's so many people in the world. There's a lot of kids in this world that you're like, Oh, I want to do what the big YouTubers are doing. Stop for a second. I want you to think about the quality of video and what they're doing. Is it a bunch of their friends with like just a, a camera being on camera talking, no script? No, there's a huge production to be made. Okay. They have high quality cameras. They have scripted materials. They have editing. I want you to take the time to watch some of the videos that you enjoy and watch the editing. That is huge. Okay. In my videos, my videos do fairly well and I don't edit. I start the recording. I play and I end the recording and that's because I'm older and I work full time and I've got a family, wife, kids. I'm about to write a third book. <sighs> I'm about to be part of a video game that there are a Roblox game that's going to get released and revolutionize the way that you think about lumber. Like it, it's literally, it's that intense. The next update. I'm like, I, you think that it's just, awesome but i want you to realize if you're going to try and make youtube videos the thing that's going to get you the views the things that are going to get you um the the subscribers is being different and recognizing that you have to be entertaining you have to have a message you have to have something there it's not just a bunch of kids talking it's not just you and your buddies hanging out. It is a full-time job. 
In fact, I would, I would rate going and creating YouTube videos is harder than going to college, getting a degree and getting a job. That says a lot. <laughs> and the reason I say that, the reason I say it's that hard is because you don't get paid until you're at least, what, what is it? A thousand subscribers and over 4,000 watch hours. And even then you might not get picked to be a partner with YouTube. Like I got grandfathered in at a great time. That, that one area where I hit the, the mark, I got the numbers and I started getting paid. This microphone right here, this was my first paycheck. And you, you like, I had to fill out tax forms. I had to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork and stuff like that. And I'm not trying to discourage you. Don't get discouraged. If you really want it, if you really want to go be a content creator, go do it. I am not going to stand in your way, but I want you to understand the truth about what's going to happen after you start. There's going to be tax forms. You're going to have to fill out all this paperwork and stuff like that. If you're under the age of 18, you're going to have to have a parent who can sign off on your account. If you're under the age of 13, you're really going to have to have a parent who's in control of the whole thing. And you're going to have to look out for copyright strikes. You're going to have to look out for competition. You're going to have to look out for mean, evil, trollish people. And if you can't take a bad comment, you're not going to be cut out for this. I've had so many bad comments, so many trolls. In fact, there's, there's somebody right now, like you watching the person that I'm talking to, you know who you are. You specifically watch my videos to troll them and that's okay. You're still here and you're still engaged. And I thank you for that, but there's so much more you could be doing. And I want to encourage you to go do so. Uh, have we, we've recorded for 27 minutes and I'm just getting up on a soapbox because I have not been drinking my coffee fast enough. I had three videos that released today and I've got a book to worry about. Like there's so much going on and YouTube like, Oh, Oh, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to tell you, there's no better feeling. There's no more rewarding feeling than like creating an awesome video and seeing people come and enjoy it. You know, like this video right now, I had no clue that this was going to happen. It's not scripted, but a lot of people script their videos. A lot of people think them out weeks ahead of time and they'll sit down and have like a general idea or a script of, of things that they're going to do. I don't do that. I wish I could. I have ADHD and I, I'm, I'm like super unorganized with, trying to figure stuff like that out. I could, it's just, that's not what interests me. I want to play video games. I want to play video games, record, and just talk to myself into a microphone and a, a camera and not expect anybody to show up tomorrow. And if, if I get zero views, it's okay. I still had this feeling right now of what I'm doing recording and that feels great. Me to did stop. What'd you say, Ryan? <laughs> I don't know. He's getting weird. I was getting weird again. Anyhow, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Lumbertech. <laughs> thank you everyone for watching this episode of Windmill Incorporated with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, like a good YouTuber does. And finally, to answer the last, wake up, wake up. <laughs> you see? To finally answer your last question, is it going to be free? Yes. When is it coming out? I don't know. Do you have a target date? I'm thinking the 10th. They don't know. I really don't want to make these guys mad because I've seen the work and stuff that they've gone into the next update and I'm super excited for the next update. So without further ado, love you guys very much. Have a great night and we will talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.